All right, y'all. Today on Beyond the Bounds Kayak Fishing, we're going to review the Yak Attack Boomstick. All right, y'all. Lou here with Beyond the Bounds Kayak Fishing. This YouTube channel is geared towards bass fishing, kayaking, and honest, unsponsored gear reviews, much like the one you're about to watch now. So please click that subscribe button. Look down in the description below for links and anything that I might have missed. Let's get into the review. So the Yak Attack Boomstick is a product that I bought about a few years ago now, and I've been using it nonstop. It it's a it's a good product, but it definitely has some some setbacks and some fallbacks on it, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. But first, let's get into the specs. So the specs on this thing it's 43 inches long. Um, you can increase that that by adding an articulating adapter, spline adapter with that, but I'll go into more on detail on that guy here pretty soon. It comes at the top with a one inch ball. As you see it configured now is how I normally run it with my VIO going to the top there, a little socket in between, and then the tough claw holding my VIO. So depending on what type of camera you're running, you're going to need to mount that and you know there are different attachments of course there's a GoPro attachment that's a one inch ball there's also a quarter inch screw ball and the quarter inch screw ball runs about ten bucks um, a few of the other things that you might consider getting but aren't um, aren't needed necessarily were one the adapter uh, this guy again pick him back up this adapter articulating adapter this is going to allow you to get those shots that swing out and on um, it connects really easily. That's actually a, a pro in that. See how quick and easy and secure that is. And to get it out, you just again push. Very similar to the Railblazer. So some of the gear that you're going to need to purchase in addition to this, um, as I said, it's 43 inches long, one inch ball. It's the Ram Plunger base. That's what it's designed to fit. And this is seventy dollars. So in addition to just buying this, you're also going to have to buy a ram post and spline base, which is, did I say that right? Spline or spleen? Eh, whatever. Um, you know, it's uh, $11. And then you're also going to need to get the Mighty Mount Deck Adapter, which is $25. So those are the additional things that you're going to need to purchase, which, you know, puts this over the $100 mark for a camera boom, which can be accomplished uh, cheaper with DIY options. However, I prefer to go the commercial route and get something like this, which is uh, pretty darn good. Okay, so some of the additional attachments that you can get for this are um, the ram socket, which you're going to need to connect from the one inch ball to another one inch ball that you're probably going to use to either mount a quarter inch screw ball, which is about a $10 attachment, or the GoPro attachment which is also a one inch ball um, and I think that runs about 10, 10 to 15 dollars depending on where you purchase it at. Um, last but not least you can buy the articulating articulating arm that will allow you to rotate this and get different different views, different angles uh, from behind the boat and it rotates pretty well attaches really easily you just have to push this button right there down and it comes out um, so there you have it. That's that's the specs and and that's uh, that's the accessories portion of this. So let's get into some of the pros and cons. I think the best pro to this product is the height. At 43 inches long, um, you know it really gets a good over the back, uh, over the shoulder camera shot. And I've, I haven't used this thing for two years now. It, I, I still definitely like it, even. You know, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to try to get uh, another camera boom. This works perfectly. Uh, it stands up to limbs. I mean, there have been plenty of times where I've caught this on a limb. It's bent back and then sprung forward. So it's very sturdy in that regard. It's a it's a firm product. Um, that would have been funny if I break it right now. They've been $70 out the door. But, you know, as you can see, too, I've got... It's nice. I can I can wrap these knot eyes around there uh, to manage my cords. The other thing is it really helps me just be faster in getting ready. 
I mean, sometimes with our kayaks, if, depending on how you store your kayak, you could be taking everything off and then having to put everything on as soon as you get to the water from transducers and you add camera gear in that, you're adding another 10 to 15 minutes sometimes. So just being able to go up to the, um, the base and just plop this thing in, have it set and ready to go, saves me a lot of time and that's one of the things that I like about it. When I first picked this product up, I was down doing a kayak bass fishing tournament in North Carolina and when I saw this I was like, man I gotta have that, that's perfect. Um, I actually was had a pretty good setup that was very stable which was the immediate con that I noticed to this one. Now the camera that I've been using is a VIO POV and the image stabilization of this camera isn't the greatest so you know when this that's the main problem with this boom stick is that it really does wobble and it wobbles significantly sometimes so if you don't have good image stabilization like what you have with the GoPro 5s um, which even with the GoPro 5s the amount of wobbling that this thing does is is just way too much so how to combat that is I, I took a you know six inch socket, ran it to like a barbell extender, another extender, extender, you know, ran it to another socket that's about a two inch socket and then to another tough grip. And what I use this tough grip for is it's connected to something very solid like my crates, um, my, my different kayak crates that I use. And it comes in here, latches on, and then I tighten that down. And that gives me another point of contact so that when you know this is so right now I'm just holding it with my feet and I'm hitting it on the side but I'm holding the uh, the six inch socket over there and you can see that even when doing that it's not moving I'm not holding this thing at all other than with my feet so so that was something else that I had to do to mount that to something that was more stable to get this to be a stabilized unit but that's the biggest drawback and I think majority of it revolves around this end down here. So uh, the plunger base end is, is what that's called. Uh, but you know that's so that's my review of this thing, guys. That's the the real drawback of this. I'm going to keep using it. I love having this setup. Like I said, I use this uh, two years straight now, and. Um, you know, it took a it took a little tweaking, but I got it right. And you know, when I get my black pack, all I'm going to do is mount a one inch ball off the side of my black pack. This is going to hook into that, and it's just going to stay there and stabilize this camera mount. So, excellent camera mount, guys. Yeah, there's DIY things out there that you can do that are cheaper. Um, but you know, once you buy it, you're good to go with this thing. Like I said, very strong and sturdy, and. Uh, you know, I would recommend it in this configuration. Would not recommend it by itself, though. So, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Son. Where'd my coffee go? This channel is geared towards kayaking, 